the glorious past of Cebu City. The monument features a plethora of impressive sculptures, all of which were crafted by Eduardo Castrillo. The monument creatively showcases all the important landmarks of the city and its rich history over the years. You can spot various scenes from the history of Cebu at this monument, including the Battle of Mactan and Raja Humabon's baptism. 39 Kawasan Falls Offering beauty, serenity, and tranquility, Kawasan Falls is one of the most scenic places to visit in the Philippines. Nestled at the southern edge of Cebu City, the refreshing waterfalls offer ice-cool natural spring water that is suitable for swimming and canyoneering. To reach the first waterfall, you will have to trek a distance of around 1.5 kilometers. A number of souvenir shops dot the trail, letting visitors shop for beautiful accessories, including bracelets and beaded necklaces. 40 Kandong Gao Peak Also spelled as Kandongor Peak, this peak is nestled amidst the Cebu, Badian, and Dalaget mountain ranges. Perched at an approximate elevation of around 900 meters above sea level, Kandongao Peak is considered to be the second highest peak of Cebu City. The trek to the Kandongao Peak is moderately challenging and offers excellent camping opportunities. This monolith peak offers breathtaking views of the picturesque Negros and Bohol Islands from the summit. 41 Puka Shell Beach Lying on the northern region of Boraki Island, the pristine Puka Shell Beach was originally known as Yupak Beach. The beach was renamed as Puka Shell Beach due to the reason that the white sand on the shore is mixed with broken puka shells. Stretching up to 800 meters and featuring clear waters, this beach is suitable for enjoying swimming, paddleboarding, and kayaking. The beach has a number of tall palm trees, under the shade of which the visitors can unwind and relish some sweet coconut water or enjoy a picnic lunch. There are also small souvenir stalls on the beach, selling mats, sarongs, and shell items. 42 Diniwid Beach Featuring a calm and serene atmosphere with no crowd, Diniwid Beach is an abode for the peace seekers. Flaunting sparkling white sand, this beach is more like an extension of the famous White Beach. Sprawled across an area of around 200 meters, this beautiful beach boasts charming sea-facing villas and resorts. Encompassed by shimmering waters, breathtaking rocky cliffs, and lush hills, Diniwid Beach is a paradise for the true beach lovers. Offering adrenaline fueled activities like cliff jumping, paddleboarding, and kayaking, Diniwid Beach also does justice for the adventure seekers. 43 Willys Rock The rocky outcrop of the Willys Rock is considered to be the most photographed attraction on Boraki Island. This rock formation makes for a stunning tidal island with its steps featuring a figurine of the Virgin Mary. Nestled near Station 1 of the White Beach, Willie's Rock got its name from Willie's Beach Club Hotel, which is located in the same area. 44 Kagban Beach Sparkling clear blue water, great scopes for water sports, and the perfect location for luxurious hotels are some of the best explanations one can use to describe Kagban Beach. Located on the western face of the iconic Boraki Island, Kagban Beach is regarded as one of the top tourist places in Philippines that everyone must visit at least once while touring the island nation. Dimol is one of the tourist favorite hotspots, which houses one of the best flea markets that one simply cannot miss exploring while visiting Kagban Beach. 45. National Park of Quezon Memorial Circle Having its name among the renowned places to visit in the Philippines, the National Park of Quezon Memorial Circle is the ultimate resting place of the Philippines' second official president. Sprawled across an area of whopping 38.5 acres, the park features dense foliage and towering 217 feet high mausoleum. Flanked by lush gardens and tall trees, this historic monument features a spiral staircase leading to a beautiful observation deck that offers breathtaking views of the National Park and the Quezon City. 46 Ninoy Aquino Parks and Wildlife Center Sprawled across an area of around 23 hectares, Ninoy Aquino Parks and Wildlife Center is home to a botanical garden and a zoological park. The botanical garden is home to over 3,000 species of plants, out of which around 100 are indigenous. There is also an artificial lagoon, sheltering numerous fish species. The Wildlife Center shelters over 1,400 species of animals. You can also spot a number of bird species here, including ringneck doves and chattering lorry. 47 3D Art Museum of Art in Ireland 
Unlike other museums, the unique and interactive 3D Art Museum of Art on Island allows visitors not only to touch and feel the exhibits, but also to enjoy creative photography. This museum features more than 50 illusionary murals, all of which were crafted by a group of 18 extremely skilled Korean painters. When seen from a certain angle, these murals offer the illusion of depth and also make for excellent backdrops for photography. 48 La Mesa Dam and Eco Park Located in Quezon City of Manila, La Mesa Dam and Eco Park is a beautiful initiative by the government to transform a piece of waste marshland into a green eco park and biodiversity reserve for the wildlife to thrive and flourish. If you want to spend some time amidst lush greenery and a serene pollution-free environment without going out of the city boundaries, then La Mesa Dam and Eco Park are among the best places to visit in Philippines. Spread over an area of around 33 hectares, the park also offers visitors a chance to enjoy a myriad of adrenaline-fueled activities, such as horseback riding, rappelling, ziplining, and even paddle boating. 